today's sections we're going to talk about compound interest so we have two different type of compound interest formulas this is just a standing a compound interest formulas and we have compound continuously interest formulas and we also going to talk about effective rate also and that's the formula for it and when we are using continu uh, compound continuous formulas, we have we know um, amount, principal, rate, and time. This E is 2.71828. This is a Euler's number. So if we're looking at example one, we said um, trying to deposit $2,000. In a saving account, six percent rate. Find the amount uh, of the interest that's compound once a year. Well, we're looking for amount, so total amount. So this is the amount we're looking for. And you have compound once a year. So if you have a compound once a year, your N, because N is going to be compounding period, um, compound once a year is going to be one. So if we say compound monthly, there is 12 months, it will be N become 12. Uh, if you have compound daily, that's going to be 365. So let's look at the formula and we're going to replace those numbers, right? So amount is equals to, wait, let me write it. Amount is equals to, uh, starting principal is 2,000. One plus, your rate is 6%, point zero six. Um, Once a year, so it will be 1, and then NT. So it will be 1 times, your time is going to be 3 years. And when you simplify this, this is going to be 2,000 times 1.06 the third power and when you plug in those number into the calculator you will end up getting 2382.03 so this is amount total amount right we were looking for total amounts here the next example is asking, what about then just interest itself? So in order to find interest itself, we need to subtract the principal. Which will give you 382.3. And that's just interest itself. Example two, um, you decide to invest 8,000 for six years and um, you have a two choice between two accounts. The first option is 7% interest compound monthly. The second one is 6.85% compound continuously so remember seeing two different formula right here right this is for continuously this is compound monthly so we're going to figure that out in the first one compound monthly when we plug into the formula we're going to get Amount is equals to principal time 1 plus 0 0.07 over 12. 
because it's monthly n become 12 and n t how long six year and you should be able to put all this into the calculator if you have a graphing calculator you can put it from here from the beginning exactly as it is if you do not have a graphing calculator you need to start from inside out so you're going to do 0 0.07 divided by 12 and then you add 1 whatever the number you get you use the um, uh, power signs to multiply by this exponent i guess you need to multiply this 12 times 6 on the side first and then uh, push the uh, power sign and input this number whatever you you get from this you're going to multiply 8000 okay so if it's not graphing calculator you need to start from inside and out okay so when you input all that number you will end up getting 12,160 and 84 so we're going to compare this with the other one, right? Uh, that was the other one was uh, compound continuously, where amount is equals to principal time e to the your rate uh, will be point zero six eight five times a year, right? And again, if you wanted to put this into the calculator, you start from inside. So you start with E, and you do have E button on your calculator. If you do not have that because it's not scientific calculator, you should be able to input this number, right? 2.718. So then with that, so E to the, you're going to uh, input the power. And if you wanted to input this power into the calculator without doing uh, uh, the calculation before, you need to use the parentheses to make sure this is going to be your power. So e to the this exponent and enter and then multiply by 8,000. So if it's not graphing calculator, that's what you need to do. If it's a graphing calculator, then you just put 8,000 times E to, and make sure you have another grouping to show that's going to be exponents, right? And most of the calculator exponent sign look like that, right? So you can push that. Okay, and if you figure that out on your calculator, you will get 12,000. 66 and 60 cents so this this is what if you uh, put 8,000 in to compound continuously so when you were comparing this two it looked like this one uh, compound monthly is going to make more money about 94 dollars 90 yeah 90 96 dollars maybe right so you will say better with 7% compound monthly. Um, example 3, the same types of problem, but this time, instead of trying to find the amount, we're going to try to find out the principal. So it say how much money should be deposited today in an account that earns 6% compound monthly so that it will be accumulated to 20,000 in five years, right? So again, we're trying to look for how much money should be deposited, which is going to be principal, right? trying to find the principal. So we know amount is going to be 20,000. And principal is something that you don't know. And then one plus, your rate is 6%, so that will be 0 0.06 over, uh, and this is going to be compound monthly. 
compound monthly is going to be n equals to 12 and 12 to 5 year. So then, again, if it's not cal graphing calculator or scientific calculator, you start from inside out. So it will be 0 0.06 divided by 12 and then add 1. On that number, you're going to power 60, right? 12 times 5. And that's the number you're going to get from this side, right? And before uh, we do the power, this is going to be about 1.005 to the 60 exponents. Let's say if you're just doing this by hands, right? You can just leave your solution as 20,000 with dividing with 1.005 to the 60 exponents, right? That will be your solutions. But again, um, when you're inputting all this in my math lab, they will ask you for exact value and my math lab have calculator inside so you should be able to find that number where that's going to be 14,827 and 44. Example four is about uh, using effective rate formulas. So a question saying that this account has 5% of interest is compound daily, find the account's effective rate. So in order to find effective rate, we will do one plus 5% is 0 0.05 five over and they want you to use 360 instead of 365 so 360 and two 360 exponents minus one and this is going to give you if you put whole thing into the calculator you will get 0 0.0513 Again, I've been emphasizing how to put your value into the calculator at once if it's not scientific. So you, you put this number first and then add one and then use the exponent of 360 equals minus one, right? And this is the number you get. And if we change that to the percent, because effective rate is going to be percent, it will be 5.13%. Because you're moving your decimal to space to right, right? 